Hello, everyone. So my name is Iyad, and my talk today is Typing Correctly Matters. So the power of types in TypeScript is that there are constraints that verify our code statically. However, types are only a model of reality, and they go away at runtime. So this raises the important question, how do we make sure that the types are consistent with the actual runtime usage? Because otherwise, static verification is of no use. So I'm here to present you with some guidelines from my experience that I found to be very useful. I will address typing internal libraries, typing external calls, and adding runtime checks. So first, if we know exactly the input types, but we are in a library deep inside our code, we need to make sure that we do not add uncertainty. Otherwise, the uncertainty trickles up in all layers of the code. We should let TypeScript do its job at inferring types instead of assigning types. And if it can't infer the types correctly, we should consider that maybe our code is too complex and we need some refactoring. Optional fields in interfaces also bring uncertainty. Instead of bundling multiple logical interfaces together with optional fields, we should better use union types and define type guards to differentiate between them. In this example, shape can either be a circle if we pass a radius or a rectangle if we pass height and width. You will realize that nothing prevents us from having radius and width or just a height. And the definition of area also here is buggy because it fails for circles of radius zero. With union types, we define circle and rectangle more precisely without using optional fields. And we can use a type guard to define the area function more correctly. But even here, we are not too happy, or at least I'm not too happy, because the type guard uses a cast. So to improve it, we can use discriminated unions. Circle has a type field circle, and rectangle has a type field rectangle. And the area can now be written in a simple switch statement. But even here, we feel we can do even better, because intuitively, we should never reach the default block. So with this assert never function, based on the never type, the area function is even more precise. Because if we decide to add a new shape, the TypeScript transpiler will complain. And so here I added a square, and it's not covered in a switch statement, and TypeScript complain. Now, if you are typing external calls, then we can also have a big discrepancy between reality and the type we assigned. But in reality, we just need to type what we need. And for fields that we do not care about, it is better to type them as unknown rather than any. Because when you type as unknown, you tell future developers to think about the actual type when you need that. So in this example, the future developer who needs to use card info or metadata will need to come up with the correct types. But sometimes static verification is not enough. And we need to resort, at, uh, with, uh, <laughs> we need to resort to runtime checks. So for example, if you're typing the result of a JSON parse operation, then uh, assigning a type to the result is an educated guess. Personally, I found that using JSON schema can be very helpful. It's a bit verbose, though, but it's very helpful. On one hand, you can generate the TypeScript definition from the JSON schema. And on the other, you can use a type checker to validate the parsed results. And we are now sure that the TypeScript definition match exactly what we receive. And finally, if you are getting data from a database, there can be a huge difference between the type we assign and the actual columns that were fetched in a query. And TypeScript cannot verify statically that the assigned types matches the result of the query. To mitigate this, uh, I use ES6 proxies to wrap around the resulting rows and throw an error on undefined fields. This way, we make sure that the fields in the type definition match exactly the columns that were queried. So in summary, if my guidelines <laughs> from my experience is to uh, leverage the TypeScript ability to infer, to type variables as precisely as possible, and resort to runtime checks when static verification is not possible. Thank you very much.